Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Dilmer again, and today I'm really excited because I'm going to continue the videos with augmented reality and body tracking. In this video, I'm going to show you a new feature that I added to my social distancing app that is going to allow us to toggle the tracker. I'm going to show you what you see playing behind the scenes, how it works. We're going to be adding a band. We're going to be going into the UI manager and binding the band, and also adding the implementation to our body tracking class. So. I jump into Unity and I start working on it. All right, guys, so let me show you what I have going on in here. I added a couple of features. I added a tutorial. We added a start tracking, also the question mark, which opens up the tutorial, and also a lot of polishing on this application. So what I want to show you today is I'm going to show you what a start tracking do, how we can toggle the body tracking. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit play. I have my phone connected behind me, so it's actually pointing at me right now. So if I hit play, I should get the stream from my actual phone. Let me go ahead and do reloading here. And you're going to see that now the phone is, the stream is displaying on the iPhone right here. So if I were to stand up, there's actually no ray. It doesn't detect me just yet. So the feature that I added is I want to start detecting my body as soon as I, you know, as soon as I hit and start tracking. So if I get closer to the camera, I'm going to be getting a warning. And this is a warning that, you know, the recommendation of not getting too close from people if I get far away. I, you know, the, the warning goes away. So one of the things that I can do, if I can, if I click on stop tracking, now the tracking, you know, stops, the timer stops. So what I want to show you today is how we implement that feature from scratch. I've been working on this app for a little while already. So I'm going to walk you through what we need to do in the code to make that work. All right. So the first thing that we're going to have to look at is how we're going to be tackling the state of this button. So I'm going to start by just jumping into a new class that I created, which is called the UI manager. In here, we're going to be creating a method. I'm just going to call it toggle tracker. And this one is going to be changing the state of the button and also calling into the human body tracker to actually turn it off and then turn it back on. So a couple of things in here that we need to do. We need to get the state of the human body tracker. And I actually added this as a singleton. So you can now do instance and then toggle tracker. This method doesn't exist yet, but we're going to be creating it. So I was going to say, Let's just pretend that it's going to script to return and just all fix it as soon as we implement it. Then I'm going to have a toggle text. It's going to be the text that I'm going to be basically the text box that I'm going to be binding to. So I'm just going to do toggle tracker button and then I'm going to say get components and children. And this is going to return a text mesh pro to text mesh pro and it's going to be your GUI. And of course, we're going to have to add these and make sure that I have that already added. It looks like I already added it. It's serializable. So we're going to be binding to the button that I that I showed you a few seconds ago. OK, so now that we have that, I also need to check the state because this is going to allow me to you know, determine if I need to change the text of this, of this text box and also which is going to be the text that we display on the button. So I'm going to say toggle and then it's going to be the button. I also need to get the component. I need to get the image. The, the reason that I'm going to be changing the image is because I also want to change the, the color. So I'm just going to do color. And then at this, at this day, I'm going to be doing red. Because if I, if I have it set to true, then I know that it's already it's activated. Otherwise, we're not going to be changing it to true. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do on the toggle text, I'm going to be changing it to white. So it's going to be red with the, the red background on the bound with the the actual text to be to be white. So I'm just going to do color here. It's going to be color white. Okay. And then the text that we're going to be, oops, let me hit this bit. The text that we're going to be displaying here is going to be a stop tracking. So I'm just going to do text and then I'm just going to do a stop, a stop tracking. And I'm pretty much going to do very similar things in here on the else because if it's, if it's not true, then I know that I can start the tracking. So I'm going to change this to start tracking. And then I'm also going to be changing this to black. So we're going to go back basically to what we had originally. Perfect. And I also added a pane and this is my own implementation of, you know, I, I don't want to, I don't want to show the warning pane anymore because this is not activated at this point. So I can just say hi fast. And if you're interested in this UI implementation, let me know and I can I can add it to GitHub. In fact, I think I already have it in GitHub somewhere in there. OK, so now that we have this, we can go ahead and go into my human body tracker. And we're going to be implementing that first method. But 
Before I do that, we need to add a new property here that is going to change the state. Basically, it's going to keep track of the state of the tracker. I'm going to say tracker is active, tracker is active, and I'm going to initialize it as false because we're going to have the tracker basically not, not active to begin with. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new private method here. This is going to be bool. This is going to be the one that we're basically calling from the from the UI manager. And this is going to be, you know, toggle tracker. Now, if we go back into our UI manager, then if everything works, let me go ahead and make sure that I have that toggle tracker. It's actually going to be public because I need to access it from that class. And I'm going to be returning. Let's just go ahead and return return false just to begin with. Just to make sure that this is compiling and everything it's everything is clean now. I like to start with that, otherwise it's going to it, it'll get confusing. Okay, so tracker is active, so it's gonna do a not here, so because we're gonna be toggling this. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, okay, if the tracker is active is not currently set, we're gonna be changing the basically the state of the AR human point. So I'll just change, I'll just show you how that's going to look like. So oops, let me go ahead and undo that. And I'm just going to say change point state. And if we are, if it's else, so if it's not active, then I know that I want to activate it. So we're going to be showing the point that we show on the AR human. We're also going to be showing the line render. And obviously, we're going to enable the, the AR body manager to, you know, to execute. So in this case, I'm just going to do, I'm just going to do the same thing here. We're going to be implementing that method. And then I'm just going to be returning the tracker is acti active state. So the next thing that I need to do is I want to, I need to implement that method. And to implement that method, we're going to be going, we're going to just do it right here. This one is going to be private. I, I'm the only one who needs to access that, basically this class. And then I'm going to say change, let's go ahead and call this change AR human point state. Okay, and then we'll just go ahead and implement that. So what I'm going to do to implement this is I need to make sure that, oops, let me go ahead and do if, I need to make sure that I have human bodies already cached. Otherwise, there's really no reason for me to go through this and change anything because we haven't even added a point to this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, I'm going to loop through every single one of my human body points, which is going to be, you know, anything that I have cached in here in this dictionary. So I'm going to say human, let me just type that, human body point. And then human body point in human bodies. And then we're going to get the values. So we're going to be looping through those. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is grab the grab the first one. So I'm going to say human body point. And we're going to be grabbing the line render. And that line render is going to be set ba based on the basically the property that I'm going to be passing here. It's active. Because if I want this to be active, I want to re-enable this. If this is the active, we're going to be basically disabling that. That way we don't see, I'm still going to be tracking the body, but I don't want to display that. So, and I'm going to be doing human body point. We're going to be grabbing the human body and then also the game object. In this case, that game object is going to be the game object that we have set in the, you know, as a prefab in the AR body manager. So I'm going to say it's active here. Perfect. And then the last thing that I'm going to do here, regardless if I have any bodies or not, is we're going to be grabbing the the actual AR, AR human manager, and we can, you know, we can change the state also based on that property. Okay, so that is everything that we need to do there. Now what I need to do is we're gonna get back up in here, and if we're not active in here, I want to make sure that we activate it, right? We want to start tracking and displaying the line render. And then in, in this case, if, if it is active, I want to deactivate it. So I'm just going to, I'm going to go, I'm going to say false. Make sure that we don't, you know, we don't show any, any of those points. The other thing that I also wanted to do is as soon as we start, I don't want to show, I don't want to show anything. I want to disable everything. So I'm going to say disable AR human point state. So which means, which means we don't show uh, prefab in the body or any line renders. Some of you asked me if I could add more comments, so that's what I'm adding. I'm adding comments right now. So that's going to be basically that. We're not going to be displaying, you know, displaying the line renders. 
The other thing that I want to make sure that we don't do, I don't want to update anything and update the source points or anything if we're not currently active. So I'm just going to say if the, if the property that we just created, which I forget the name of it. Let me go ahead and go back. Tracker is active. So if the property that we already created is not currently set, then I want to return. So, so meaning that if the tracker is not active, there's really no reason for me to update the points because the points are the, the positions that we have on the human body. So I think this is everything that we need to do as far as this setup. Let's go ahead and go back into Unity and, and take a look at binding this to the UI manager. So I'm going to go back into that button. We're going to be, and make sure you're going, if you, if we, because we didn't create it in this video, make sure you create a button, which is going to be using the Text Mesh Pro button. And then we're going to be going into the on-click event. Then on my UI manager, I'm just going to go ahead and drag it and drop it, go into function, UI manager. And you're going to see that I have my toggle tracker in here. And if I did everything correctly, we should be able to toggle it. And I'm just going to go ahead and make this a little smaller here. He played the camera again, it's pointing at me. And let's see if this is going to work. So you can see that, you know, we can see, I can see myself on the, on the simulator here on the game view. You can go back into the simulator because it looks cooler. And if I hit start tracking and I stand up, you're going to see that it's either going to work or it might not work. Let's see if we, okay, let's go ahead and take a look at why, why this is not, this is currently not tracking. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play and let's go back into my AR manager. So I have my AR human body here. We're going to go back into the AR body tracker and make sure that I have everything set correctly. I think I may have this one's opposite. Let me just make sure that this is set to, to true here. Let's go ahead and go back. And we're going to do reloading here. And there we go. We got everything tracking. And then as soon as we hit start, we are tracking. Let's hit stop. No tracking anymore. And uh, hopefully we don't get two lines in here. And let's get far away. It looks like, looks like that part is working. So let's go ahead and call it good. If you guys have any more questions, please let me know in the comments.